Instead of re-importing that graphic from Photoshop, I'm going to show you how you can modify your images that you've linked using the links panel. Hello creative! It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. Now quick tip videos are made to focus in like a laser beam on that one thing that you've been trying to learn in a program. This way you don't have to wade through long tutorials to get to that nugget, that one thing that you've been struggling with. Or maybe you'll file it away in the back of your mind to use it in the future. You're welcome. You can quickly modify photos that you've linked in your Illustrator file so that you can keep them intact and just modify them outside of the program, such as in Photoshop, so they update automatically in your Illustrator layout. Recently, I was working on some headshot graphics that I created in Illustrator after linking the photos from Photoshop. Here, as I was looking at these four graphics, I noticed that these three had skin tones that were on the paler side, or I'll say blue, less yellow than this graphic here. See how my skin tone looks a little more yellow, kind of like this guy, compared to these other images? So instead of re-importing that graphic from Photoshop, I'm going to show you how you can modify your images that you've linked using the links panel. To show your links panel, you come to Window, Links. Your links panel shows you all of the images that you've linked in your file. Here I have quite a few. When you select an image, it will highlight it in the links panel. This happens if when you imported your graphic, you didn't embed. Be sure to check out my other video on the difference between embedding and linking graphics. I'll link to it in the description below, or you can click the icon in the upper right hand corner. But to get back to this, when I select this image, it will highlight it in my links panel. Notice how there are two instances of this artschool.jpg graphic. The reason for this is I have this image linked a couple times in my file. So with it selected, you come over to the links panel. You can come down and at the bottom, it shows you a whole bunch of information, such as the name, the format, the color modality, the dimensions and size, and this right here, its location. So you wanna click on the link that says location. It's clickable. When you select it, it will bring up the folder on your hard drive where you have this image. So here I was looking for the image that says Art School. And if I wanted, I could right click and open it with Photoshop. You can do this on a PC or a Mac by just right clicking it. And I'll open it in Photoshop. Now I can make adjustments to this photo and when I come back to my Illustrator file, it will update it automatically. Again, this works only if you've linked, not embedded your artwork. So if I bring up my levels now, Control or Command L, I could come to just the blue channel because this file's color modality is RGB. So the opposite of uh, yellow on the color dial is blue. I could adjust the midtones or the lights. Let's see if I start with the lights here to bring it up to where more of the color information is happening and then adjust my midtone values. You can see if I take it all the way to the extreme, even my hair turns blue, right? So I don't want that, but I was on the yellow side. <laughs> it was looking a little rancid there. So I'm going to come on back, something like that. What I'm going for is that my skin tone looks a little bit less yellow and more akin to those other uh, photos that I was using in my layout. So with this, if I just saved it, control S, when I come back to my Illustrator file, you'll get this message. It'll say some files are missing or modified in the links panel. Would you like to update them now? Why, yes, I would. 
Now, did you see the difference? This file looked a little bit yellow. Now it's more in keeping with my other files. But a lot of times the way you'll work is to have a layered Photoshop file or PSD file that you'll want to open, modify, and then export to replace out the JPEG. So here, when I selected the image, it told me that it was Art School JPEG. When I clicked on the link, it opened the location. But if you look at this file, you'll see that I have the source photos that I had uh, considered. Then I had a different option of a PNG file. I had a JPEG, and I don't know what this was. <laughs> but here it is, a PSD file. That was my source file. If I double click that, obviously it will know to open it in Photoshop. And you can see here on the right hand side that I have a lot of layers. I have my embossed layer, I have uh, layer masks going on, and I had this background where let's say I wanted to change the color of that. I just hit Control or Command I to invert that color. Now, if I were to do File, Save As, I would flatten it to a JPEG. Let's say I replace my art school JPEG right there. And when I click save, it's going to ask me, do you want to replace it? Why? Yes, I do. Fine. Now, when I come back to my Illustrator file, I get my message about being updated. When I say yes, now you can tangibly see the difference because my background has changed. So that's how you can use the links panel in Illustrator to quickly locate your linked images in order to modify them outside of Illustrator and then have them update automatically in your layout. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like. Share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.